internet. Welcome on TikTok, welcome on YouTube, welcome on Twitch, welcome on LinkedIn, and of course, welcome on Facebook Live. There we are, tremendous stuff. Mad Dog Johnny has just joined us. A very, very warm welcome and a very, very good evening to you from me, Scotty McClue. Great stuff. Lots of new TikTok videos for you. So get watching and get liking, I say. Tremendous stuff. And a very warm welcome to you on the internet phone in for this Wednesday evening. How amazing is that? Come on the chat. Let us know that you are there, of course. Subscribe and tap the bell on YouTube. We must get these subscribers moving upwards all the time. How amazing is that? There's the wonderful D Gurley. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, D. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, Scotty. It's Martin. How are you, son? Martin, well done. You're very quick off the mark tonight, La. Oh yes, I've got a whole bunch of TV stations for you. I am, I am going to read out to you. Right. And you can tell me. I've, you've seen them. And have I got to tell you if I know them or not? Yes. Right. Excellent. <laughs> you have to find the book. Yes. No, no, get the book. I think that's important. Oh. oh. You've got. Right. Where's the book, Martin? Hello, Martin, says D. Dinky do. Hi, Scotty and D, says Susan. Hi, Susan. Lovely to have you with us at Dinky do. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. And you know the guy who works in the castle? There we are. I might be, Natasha. Yes, indeed. And Dinky do, I say to you. There we are. Quick off the mark, oh, Martin. Very quick off the mark tonight, folks. Are you not on TV? I am indeed, Natasha. You're quite right. Are you there, Martin? Yes, I've got it. Here we go. First, first, um, first minister. First minister, yeah, absolutely superb. Yes, minister, do you mean? Yes. Yes, yes, minister. Yes, that was the one. Um, two, um, two pints of lager. Two pints of lager and a packet of crisps. Yes. What uh, else, Martin? Two pints for children. Yes, um, absolutely. After you're gone. After you've gone, did you do last of speechy beachy? Uh, um, at home with the breath with. At home with the breath with. Yes, Natasha says I do know you. Yes, at home with them. Um, Balak, um, Balakus Angel. Oh, no, Balakus Angel. There's an absolute belter for you. That was fantastic. Uh -huh. Um, Mullet of the Glen. Monarch of the Glen on a Sunday night with Richard Bryars and Susan yeah. Hampshire. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Um, birds of a Feather. Birds of a Feather, yes. Absolutely super. Pauline Quirk. Uh-huh. Um, what about Charmed? Charmed. What was that one called? Charmed. It's a TV series, Charmed. Oh, Charmed. Oh, yes, yes. Remember that one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, cold. Cold feet. Cold, cold feet. Yes, yes. Cold, cold feet. Um, next one is CSI New York. CSI New York. Very much so. Is it not still going? Aye. Aye. Doctor Who, Doctor Quinn. Listen to Jay. this, JJ Bart here. You're about as Scottish as Mel Gibson. What kind of daft comments that, JJ Bart? I know, I know. <laughs> you know, I mean, what are people like? You can't get more Scottish than Scotty McClure. I am what? Scotland personified. Yes. Yes. What about um, Doctor Who, Doctor Quinn, Father Ted, um, Love, Love, um, Lovejoy? Oh, Lovejoy on a Sunday night. Fantastic. Ian McShane. Yes. Superb. Um, what about... Mary? And a gentleman in Lovejoy wore a hat just like this. This is nice. Yes. Lovely. What about that? Does anybody remember the gentleman in Lovejoy that wore a hat like this? Yes. What about um, Mrs. Boys? Mrs. Brown's Boys. It's still on. It's great. Uh -huh. Very, um, very funny. Right. I think that's plenty for now, Martin. Okay, okay. Lovely talking to you. Okay, I'll um, talk to you later on. Talk to you later on. Lots of love. Dinky do. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you lots. Bye. bye. There we are. That's our Martin. What a guy. Fantastic stuff. 
Uh, hi, everybody. Dinky do. Hi, Eddie. Lots and lots of things tonight. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's me, Glenn. Oh, Glenn, how amazing are you? Hi. How you doing? Fantastic, Dinky do. Kalilio <laughs> shouting Taggart. The fantastic last call what you were last night, Sky. Oh, wow. Edward. He was brilliant. He what was, was brilliant. he like? Uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. He was, he was a touching last call, that one. Yeah, very interesting, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Tinker had the hat. Dinky do. Thank you, you, Andrew. It was brilliant. Your, your two communication, the last call you had, definitely. Oh, right. gee. I'll, I'll upload yeah. it. I'll upload it, I think, Glenn. Yeah, you've got to, yeah. Yep, yep, absolutely. A good guy in many ways. Yeah, and I'll need to upload one from your good self as well. A really nice guy. If he phones up, just stay positive in there. Stay positive. That's what it's all about. And you guys yeah. were beautifully supportive to Edward. Yeah. I love that. Guy, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> But also, you, also yourself as well with him. Oh, Glenn, you're very kind. Everything you were saying to him. Oh, we're human beings are ending it out. Colilio says us TikTokers missed the end of that. Colilio, the only reason for that, we would have gone over the hour, which means I can't upload the TikTok three minutes. So that's yeah. why I'm back on TikTok. I but it, we're all human beings. We all go through bad times and good times. I, so, uh, Glenn, ups and downs. And that's why it's very important. We're all there for each other. Yeah. You know, absolutely vital. Yeah, definitely. And, and this is the place to be, isn't it? This is the place to be, but I want to get the subscriptions up on the YouTube channel. And by the end of tonight, there's no reason why it shouldn't be 3,000. A lot of people just, they, they just don't. Well, they don't they bother, you know, they're, they're getting fed up. They've done it for everyone else. It doesn't have anything in it for them. This has got something in it for them. It means they get the notifications. They seem to think it's got to be some sort of topic-based thing, don't they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All that nonsense. No, no, we can talk about anything. I mean, we'll talk tonight. We'll probably mention the budget, but we've started yeah. on television channels, Definitely television right. programs. Exactly. Beachy um, Beachy, I love this. Beachy Beachy says, I watched it on Twitch after 10. Beachy Beachy, I wish you'd also uh, watch Twitch. Does it cost on YouTube? No, Kalilio. That's the whole thing. The word is subscribe. And it's a wee bit unfortunate because people think, yeah. oh, is this going to cost me? It right. doesn't the, cost you to subscribe to Scotty McClue. It's free. The word subscribe can be a little bit. Deceitful, can't well, like, no, a little uh, bit, a little bit of dubiety over it. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people seem to think, oh, uh, there can be dubiety yeah. and it can cause a dichotomy. Yeah, <laughs> you're, having to, you're having to subscribe to things, you're having to pay for things. It's it's, it's not, it, it doesn't work like that. Well, way. you don't have to pay a thing for Scotty McClure ever unless you actually yeah. wanted to. Unless phone, unless credits running low on phone, Scotty or something. Aye, like that. that's uh, it, and it's it's now that you know. Uh, there's uh, Kirby the Annihilator from America, the ineffable and wildly handsome Scotsman himself. How do you do, Mister McClue? Scotty, where do you work your phone calls through? Is it through Skype or uh, through Skype? Yeah, through Skype. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's Perhaps you need Skype, to make but... it clearer, because I thought subscribe was a cost. No, I think a yes. lot of people think that, Cornelio. And subscribe on YouTube, Scotty McClue's channel, absolutely 100% free. Subscribing means that you end up getting the best of it. Yeah, you uh, get the best of it, absolutely. So there we are. Uh, mean, it's uh, YouTube. It sells that use the term subscribe. Uh, sorry, it's <laughs> YouTube itself that uses the term subscribe. I know. And that's why we want everybody to subscribe. It's free. Guys, so go and do it good, now. Would you say the good lines then from Sky then? Would you say it puts a good signal out? Well, excuse me, Glenn. Are you and I talking to each other? Exactly. So I think there's your answer, lad. Yeah, definitely. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I remember uh, in South Yorkshire one day, I uh, yeah. got this second-hand lawnmower. Mm -hmm. And it was it had a squeaking wheel, which I was pressing on with. <laughs> And the neighbor appeared with a can of, you know, a certain proprietary script. 
and he squished the wheel and it went absolutely 100% silent. And I said, I've just got this more. Do you think it's any good? And he said, well, it's got your grass, isn't it? You know, and, and I thought, this is beautiful. This is Yorkshire. You ask a question, you get an answer. There, there is times though when you when you've got products or whatever you've got saying is it any good? Yeah. It does the job, does it? Well, it does the job, and I mean that's what it's as, about. As long as you as long as you know what you're doing and you know how to control it. And well, I mean, I remember getting a new clutch in my car, and I said to the mechanic, "Do you think it's all right?" He went, "Well, you're getting all the gears." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think the fundamentals are? more modern things are, are still around in Scotland. Well, I think that I think people ask questions because we get our confidence knocked all the time, usually yeah. by the people that should be building it up. You've so you end up getting that. a little bit unsure of yourself. And of course, Sometimes. governments love that because they think, hey, a bit more control here. Sometimes that's where people jump in and they kind of thing. Yeah. Think yeah, instead of going, no, help these people out. They go, right, what can we screw them for? Yeah, precisely. We'll take advantage of the situation. How much can we get out them old ladies for yeah. gas? And it's all wrong, that, isn't it? Well, of course it's wrong. It's, of course it yeah. is. And, I mean, this is why you think, you know, you see, one of the reasons getting out of Europe, we had lovely cheap food and lots of it. Yeah. You know, you go to the supermarket, the shelves were absolutely bulging. You thought, hey, them carrots are a good price, aren't they? I mean, a couple of obviously we locked down and that, which I won't go into, into too much detail. People were just panic buying whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's what's wrong with them, Glenn. You see, couldn't get their act together. Toilet rolls were just going off the shelves like Yeah, that. toilet rolls. I mean, now you know you've only got one bottom. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What? I remember somebody as a joke had put on, "We'll swap four bedroom townhouse in London for two toilet rolls." And putting prices up at the hospital for about <laughs> 20 quid. It's ridiculous, isn't you it? You know, same with hand sanitizer. Exactly. Didn't they ever use it before this situation? No, this, this is the whole thing. Nobody started, bothered, you know? You know? It's, it's took a big pandemic for it to start. Here, what about this? Billy Ness says, I think Yorkshire folks are very honest and to the point. 100%, yeah. Billy. And, and Scott Spinner as well, Sky. The Count Murky Lago. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you had a good day, Jarrah John. Think you do? We've got natural resources out there, Scotty, aren't we? Yeah, and we should be using them. And we've got. We'll, we'll find out what the climate's saying. If, if we did like a bear grills kind of thing. Yeah, well, some people feel like bear grills when they lose the mobile. Yeah, definitely. I've been seeing them and uh, love his stuff. Out. Absolutely love it. Are you? And all this, and very clever that, mind that, you. That, we that, can't that, really all live like that, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people, you know, are, police would I come and know. police would come and get us if we started lighting fires and cooking sheep, and you know, yeah, it's like a zombie kind of world at times with mobiles, isn't it? Yeah, it's that's like, it. Well, they're all on them. You watch in the train where people you say, I tell you this, love, you used to sit in the train listening to conversations. Oh, right. Well, I, is that Chesterfield? Ah, oh, it's next stop. I'm I, off. I, I, yeah, they I, used to. I, I, I know I'm going to Drumfield Love. And you had all that going on, right? I'm just, yeah. And, and, and now, not a sound. They're all tap, tap, tapity, tapity, tap. Unless your signal breaks down. You know? And you I feel mean, like saying to your friends, anybody want to come round to mine on Saturday and go on the phone? Yeah, exactly. It's, the, the, do you think there's too much of it now? Oh, far too much of it. Having said that, I think you should be on it when uh, when yeah, Scotty McClure's right. on. That's the, that's the most, that's the mandatory yeah. bit. I think the whole raison d'etre for mobile phones should be to get the internet phone in. But mobile phones aren't used just as mobiles these days. Oh, there's a rune from uh, saying to me, up the Royal Artillery. Do you remember when the big house bricks were out, Scotty? The big old phones. Oh, then when, when it first started. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. The the first mobiles. Correct. Yeah. Right. Here's one for you, Glenn. 
we ordered yeah. two for a radio station right now your problem was it was only your pal that was on the network it was like a small car battery with a great big broad strap you put over your shoulder yeah and you carried this and it had like a full proper receiver on it and a dial yeah and you carried this thing around you know and you you could ring your mates and hang on a minute beep 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 hello hello yeah hello can you hear yeah yeah hello uh oh beep. oh it's wrong off and that you know how's that for communication and now look at it I love Rooney. It says, "Stop blaming this on the government." Are you joking? If you can't connect through your mobile, connect through your Wi-Fi, are you? Hey, Chris is saying to Rooney, he knows what you are saying is not daft. Unlike yourself, he says to him. <laughs> I love the TikTokers because they've got me back, Glenn. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, anybody starts, they start on them. It's a good bit of banter, and it's got a bit better banter. Life. Anyway, better yeah. dash talking a banter. Well, you, well, you've got that though. You've got all that. You've, you've got banter everywhere, aren't you? Oh, there's banter, there's, but it's on here, and we love that. That's that. You've got it all. You've got it all together, Sky. You've got it all. Well, we're, we're getting it together. We're getting it together, la. But and it's, it's thanks to the likes better. of thee. It's only going to get better, isn't it? It's going to be yeah. huge. Trust me, yeah. this will absolutely explode. Scotty, you just want the subscription. Finish yeah. Just up, There's Chris. Hit that subscribe button. Yep, hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. It's free. Love you lots, Glenn. Love you, Sky. Dinky do, la la. Dinky do, Dinky do Sky. See you, la. There we are. That's our Glenn. What a top man. Absolutely. What you all say. Um, D. Gurley. Ha ha, Scotty. Love it. Uh, you can use good quality vodka as a sanitizer. All right. There's Mike saying, thank you, sir. Great to hear and see you. Mike, thank you. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you, do. It's 30 years in June since we all met. Isn't that absolutely incredible? That's a top, top, top broadcaster joining us on the stream. What have I joined, says that Scottish couple. You've joined the internet phone in. The world's top broadcaster, hashtag Floatai, first lord of the internet. So there we are. Based in Top Cliff in Thirsk, up the, what are you talking, ruin. What rubbish are you talking? Up the Royal Artillery. Yes, indeed, we've got that. Runa, you never see, you're shouting out, Chucky Allah. That happened 99 years ago. You're a bit late. Uh, that Scottish couple, absolutely wonderful stuff. Thank you, do. Uh, so, Runa, don't start bringing in a lot of uh, nonsense politics that people aren't interested in. There we go. Uh, ban him, Scotty. I think I will. If there's any more cheek, we'll just send him. Doing the Swanee on a lifetime ban ticket. There we are. Doing the Swanee, this is every day. Yep, absolutely. That's what's happening. Hello, Martin. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Eddie. Last of the summer wine, a classic. A few wore a bonnet like you, says Billy. Absolutely, Billy. Thank you do to the TikTokers. So lovely to have you with us. And thank you for all my likes. Doing the Swanee. Yeah, we will do. Uh, the only politics I'm interested in Scotland gaining independence and building a fairer nation. Absolutely, that Scottish couple, especially after today's budget. That was a bit of a damp squib, wasn't it? And no mention of Brexit, the costs. I'm not doing too bad, says D. Been a busy week. My mum's in hospital, so a bit of a worry. Dealing with some family things, but plodding along. Hope you're doing okay, D. Gurley. What a fabulous lady. They love you on here, D. You're welcome, D, says Susan. We should donate the Waverley steamboat to the Up Helia in Shetland. Do away with it. It's the Titanic week. To Professor Numpty. That's a dreadful thing to say. Uh, Chris says, I'm Catholic Celtic fan. Yes. Uh, that's, they're not mutually exclusive, you know, being Catholic and a Celtic fan. Ex-army British soldier married to an English woman. What do you think of that, Chris? That's the stuff. Tell him to get it right round him. Fantastic. Not seen the budget, nothing to talk about. Canelio, 
there is nothing to talk about really. You know, it's sort of give and take. It's McGee and McTack. There we go. Scotty. So there we are. Um, no, Runa, no. Well, I'm not him. So I don't care what he said. Nobody else says it on here. There we are. Do you enjoy? No, Nigel, we don't do these. Is Kareem calling tonight, says Glenn. Let's hope so, Glenn, but he hasn't called yet. So there we are. That's it. Good Yorkshire answer for you. Fantastic. Hey, up, Mr. McClue, my darling. Listened to you in the 90s on the radio. Wondered where you went. Glad I found you again on Tintinet. Claire McAndrew, what a privilege to hear you. Yes, where did you used to listen? And we'll piece the jigsaw together. I'm looking for bus drivers, says Keith Snedden. Keith, we'll see how we get on. No discrimination or racism on Scotty McClure. Kareem is a top man indeed. Scotty, let's make a deal. Well, Ruani, you'll have to start talking sense and not living a hundred years ago. <clears throat> You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hiya, Scotty. It's me again. Oh, Cled, for goodness sake. Gracias. You're going to keep you on your toes, aren't you? Yeah, you're, you're keeping me on my toes, la. But would you not rather leave a wee space between your calls? No, it's nobody else's phones up in there. You might as well just keep it fresh, aren't you? Well, keep it fresh, love. Well, I've got Andrew saying, are you the real king of all media, Scotty? Yes, I am, Andrew. I am the first lord of the internet, and that's where the media's at these that. days. That's where it all began. Scotty. Yeah, that and the old digital radio nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. The old digital radio songs, really. We'll, I, we'll have to get Scotty on the digital radio as well. Yeah. We'll get the internet phone in on the digital radio. That'd be good, wouldn't it? You can still call it the internet phone in, because it always yeah. will be, you see. It's beautiful. Could you broadcast this on radio then, Scotty? Yeah, of course you can. All you need to do is hook it all up. Yeah. Off you go. Everybody can get it. Get it in the cars nowadays. Later. They should be able to. Yeah, I'm ready on DAB. Yeah, remember we've only been running now. We're in our seventh week. Yeah. This is number sixty. Sir. Yeah, just over a couple of months. There we go. Fantastic. Number 62. Well, remember we did the mornings. We did a week of mornings. Yeah. Well, hang on a minute. I'm getting a connection notice here. All right. Something's happened to the connection. Please stand by. We're restoring it. So I hope it's all right. 24 billion for housing, says Danny. That's not bad, Danny, is it? It's a start. Uh, 24 billion. Well, Brexit yeah. it's a tenth of the cost of Brexit. Mm -hmm. So there could have been there could have been eleven times that for housing. There's still a lot of homeless people out there, though, Scotty, isn't there? Yeah, well, I think you'll find you'll always get homeless people in that they're homeless for a whole yeah. variety of reasons. I mean, yeah. some of them are very fragile mentally. Some of them are on. Uh, Substance abuse, drink, drugs, all that yeah, stuff. Some of them have just fallen in hard times. Some of them are wounded soldiers that they're not looking after properly. It's just a matter of bad circumstances, Scotty, really, isn't it? That's... Professor Numpty Heath says connections back, Scotty. At least I think sometimes you've just got to think you bless your lucky stars, really, aren't you, at times? Well, of course you have. I mean, you know, I mean... Uh, you know, I, I always give to people because, you know, they're one paycheck away from, from me, you know? Yeah, things get took for granted, don't they? Well, of course they do. I mean, this is it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a tough time. I mean, you look at, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to get the GoFundMe together. We're nearly yeah. halfway there. I think we're a five or short. It's not bad, is it? So it's coming on stronger than it, definitely. Yeah, so 50%. We've raised 50%. Yeah. You know? But it, it, it's like I said, it's just going to have to just go from strength to strength, really. And it's... Ruani says, how do I ring in, Scotty? Ruani, you look in front of you at my TikTok bio. Below that is the YouTube link. Click on that, subscribe, tap the bell. doesn't cost you anything, and you'll oh, yeah. get the phone number. 
We're live on YouTube. Uh, will, you do, will you do some alterations to your fonts and that? Then Scotty, like, yeah, I mean, we'll know. start to, you know, I mean, if, if we can get there. some little bits of money in, we'll start building. Yeah. Jazz it up a little bit. Well, that. from from little acorns, great oaks grow. Exactly. What's your thoughts on the Queen not attending COP26, Scotty? Well, it will reduce a little bit the caliber of COP26, not having somebody yeah. like the Queen there. But having said that, she, uh, you know, is uh, working very, very hard, and uh, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll stagger by. So she needs to put her feet up a bit, Scotty, and just. Take it I think she bit. deserves to put her feet up. I mean, she'll always remain yeah. Queen. Uh, you yeah. know, but she works terribly, terribly hard. A lot of people don't appreciate that, do they? No, they don't understand it, Glenn, the halfwits. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of halfwits out there. They didn't stick in at school and they've never done very much since, you know. And they think she just sits there just doing Yeah, they, they think she sits in a castle, as they call it. I mean, would you would you like to stay in a castle? Woo! little bit chilly for me. You, you, you'd love it for the night, Scotty, wouldn't you? Well, for the Hey, can you get them big paraffin eaters in, please, these big diesel eaters, and, and blow up the heat for the Great Hall? Oh, that'd be I said, I shot them, put them tapestries up, and shot them doors. That's where draft's coming in. No, no point worrying about the windows. They, they might as well be open. A, a nice... Uh... A nice evening in the castle. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Shut that big front door. Hurry up. Come in quick. You'd be the lord of the manor sky. <laughs> Get them big diesel eaters in for Great Hall. Get them big on the big firework display. In the ah, the big ground. diesel eaters. Have you ever seen them? When, when, when I... I eating broke down once in a church. Now, I don't know if you've ever sat in an unheated church. But it is not for the heart. I mean, I mean, Eskimos would feel the chill. You know, Santa, Santa would be shivering. So, so anyway, this lad owned a garage and he had these big diesel heaters. Yeah. They were fired up with diesel air heaters and he got in and fired the place up early. Ooh, it was lovely and warm. I, I don't like it when it gets a bit. Cause a bit toasty, Scotty, at times, you know, like a bit chilly. Oh, I, oh, no, we like to see the seasons, Glenn, but you don't want to yeah, sit definitely. in your house with no heat. And I worry about the old folk while these companies are, are, are you know, screwing every day. Mm. You know, and saying, oh, it's the cost, wholesale cost of gas. I mean, my yep. company wrote to me today and said, don't worry too much because we buy, our, our prices are way ahead. Yeah. You know, they're well organized. Yeah. What about this? Does Glenn want a man? Says Keith. I love his accent. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you reckon... Um, D. Gurley says, ah, so true, Scotty. It's cold in they, castles. They should be looking out more than for elderly when it gets to wintertime to these companies. They like should be that. looking for them, seeing they're all right. I mean, I know yeah. some companies do have a conscience and they put you on a register of vulnerable people. So they're not yeah. going to screw them for the for the bill right away if they can't pay, you know. They're few and far between, though, aren't they? Oh, very few and far between. Here's uh, Alice uh, in the north of England. A new radio station for Scotty McClure. I hope that is in the budget. Isn't that lovely? There we are. Well, we're, save, we're saving up, Alice. And from Little Acorns, Great Oaks Grow. So while it's doing well on the internet, just keep it as it is, Scotty, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the well, UC cut it. is not good for family, says Susan. Yeah. So I she's talking about budget. So there we are. There's you know, Billy Ness the advertising a lovely, a lovely gas company. They buy their gas way ahead of time. It's not lovely. Not Glenn, good. I'm going to have to dash la. Scotty, it's not going to please the public. The budget's off at time, is it? With prices, no. With prices increase. Never. No. And Never. what are you doing? You're shoving up the beer, aren't you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. You know, I mean, I can remember beer at two and tuppence a pint. Yeah. Two shillings and tuppence. It's about three and a half quid a pint now, Sky. Half pint for a shilling. Three fifty a pint. Ah, too much. I'd maybe, I'd, I'd, I'd maybe have a half pint. 
Some pubs charge a fiver, Sky. Professor Numpteed says, what about for television programs? I'm not a celebrity. Get me in there. Do you, do you think, you know, I'm a celebrity. Get me out, out of it. Do you think uh, it's a case of I'm getting the career back on track, Scotty, and it, you know, when they've had a... Well, sometimes I think it is, actually. I mean, I've kind of yeah. resisted it, although I did go for Big Brother and I got into yeah. the, the final of choosing, you know. You should have gone. You should have gone. Big well, I think they were a bit anxious about me because I'd worked for television before they, they said that, you know. The most eccentric person who were in Big Brother, I'd say, were John McElroy. You know, the uh, racing. Oh, racing. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he I was great. He, I think he was the most eccentric one out of the John McCrary. Yeah, John McCauley, yeah, but he was brilliant. Though, Sent to what on? <laughs> he didn't give a damn, did he? The way he the way. <laughs> oh, that's you watch that. We love all that. <laughs> Glenn, I'm going to have to man. dash. Dinky do la. Yeah. Dinky do Scott. Love you lots. Dinky do. Love you, Scott. Night, night, la la. There we are. That's our Glenn. What a lad. And uh, there we are. Scotty for King of the Jungle. There we are. Dinky do. And also D. Oh, shut that door. Oh, remember, shut that door. Larry Grayson. I remember seeing him in one of the television companies. He was very friendly with my boss. And, uh, you know, I was shouting at somebody one night. And uh, <laughs> they were coming down the stairs. I had to do a runner. I thought, my goodness, it's the boss with Larry Grayson. They all oh, shut that door, dear. Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Follow us as soon as you can. Excellent stuff. Hello, it's me, Lauren. Did you do Lauren? Scotty, can I ring you? Of course you can, Rooney. Yes, absolutely. Uh, my grand said she used to love you, says Natasha. I thank you, Natasha. Uh, round about that number, absolutely. Scotty's getting hacked. Uh, no, I think I might have got hacked on Facebook, guys. So don't accept any uh, invitations on Facebook from Scotty McLean. He's going to hack you. I'm going to dump him. Uh, what do you think of COP26 in Glasgow, says Natasha? Well, I think it's going to mean problems. It took me hours to get home tonight. And um, we had to go through several times two feet of water on the Hillington Road. What about that, guys? There we are. Incredible stuff. Dinky do. Do you remember? Shut that door. Wonderful stuff. Now, get it ruin you. I love the wee queen, says Natasha. What do they mean everyone stopping like trains and buses? Do you mean the uh, protesters or do you mean the strikes? You know, tell us what you mean. Scotty, what was the gun called on the golden shot? Uh, the gun wasn't called anything. It was the golden gun, I think. And it was heights that used to put the bolts in. It was a crossbow. There we are. I'm sure it was a crossbow. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Martin again. Oh, how Martin again. How are you? Yeah, very well. Yes. What's happening now? Um, there's a thing called sound witness and shoulder shoulder. Oh, hang on a minute. Stephen Menzies says, I accepted. The guy was asking for money. You might have to change your password for that Facebook. Ah, yes, we might just do that, Stephen. Thank you. We don't want any of that. Guys, don't uh, any money only through paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. There we are. Don't give him any money. Are you going to upload that um, video you've, you've done tonight? Yeah. Uh, the video I've done tonight? Oh, yes. Because did you like the one? Did you get the one about Belfast? Yes, I did. I've, um, I am always tend to download them, then watch them back for as well. Right, right. So we'll, up, we'll upload this one tonight, Martin. Cool, cool. Yeah, you'll get it on so YouTube. Yes, yeah, so um, how's your... So you get it on Twitch. If anybody's watching, go and follow me and watch on Twitch. Scotty underscore McClure. Yes. Sure. Now then, I'm sure it was known as Bertie the Crossbow, says Professor Numpty Heat. I don't remember that, Professor Numpty Heat. There we are. Stephen Menzies, yes, I hope. Just block that guy then. But make sure you block the right one. Guys, if anybody gets a Facebook request from me, ignore it. Okay, I don't yeah. send out requests. Mm -hmm. So just ignore it. Scotty McClure does not send out Facebook requests. 
Yep. HM is right not to attend COP26. I think it's not going to achieve much except headaches for Glasgow and its citizens. Bernie the Bolt, yes. Alice, yes, Bernie there was. The Bolt, let me finish, Scotty. I have heard, I have heard, I have heard fireworks today down, down in my village. The first firework I have heard since I've been down here. Oh, Martin. Yes. What did you think? I, I, I absolutely hated it. Yeah. Yeah, I think, well, don't hate, Martin. Remember never to hate, because no, that no, you're no, shutting no. off an avenue of learning. I I think they should ban them, like, like we said a few days ago. We should ban fireworks. Yes, I think we should, and I've put up that video, Martin. Yes. Thomas from Glasgow talking about banning the fireworks. I put that up today. Did you see that one? Yes, I did, mate. I did. Good. Excellent stuff. There we are. Well, we'll look at that. Fantastic. Now then. Okay. Bernie the Bolt, that's right. He followed Heights, Heights the Bolt, at Bob Monkhouse. Uh -huh. There we are. What do you think of COP26? Do you think it will make a difference, says Natasha? I don't know how much of a difference it will make. We should let the Queen enjoy the last years, taking it easy. That's one long stint she's had. Yeah. Insulate Britain protesters blocking the roads. A poor lady died. Yeah, I mean, we shouldn't really be having this. That is not the way to go about it because you're only inconveniencing. You are, you are, you are definitely talking my own language. Talking your language, Martin. Dad's army, because I really think that all these wonderful actors, you see, it was really nothing to do with war or the army or even the home guard. It was to do with very, very talented actors trained in the theater, all getting together to make a TV show. Yes. You know, I mean, people like Arthur Lowe, Jean Le Measure, Measure, uh -huh. Le Measure, yes. yes, Ian Lavender, Clive yes. Dunn, you know. Uh -huh. Fantastic stuff. James Beck, that played Private Walker. John Laurie, we're doomed, uh -huh. doomed, or doomed. John Laurie, uh -huh. wonderful old Shakespearean actor from uh -huh. Dumfries. You know, been acting in Shakespeare in the West End for, for years. Wow. Uh, um, who else have we got? Bill Pertwee, the warden, uh -huh. the vicar, uh, the verger. <coughs> you know, outstanding actors, the whole lot of them. Yes. I've uh, made pals with um, Susan here. Oh, I've excellent. Susan. Susan's a great friend. We always chat quite a lot. So she, uh, she absolutely loves all your shows. She absolutely loves them Wonderful. All. Keith saying good night. Good night, Keith. Dinky do, I say. The connection yes. went and came back again, Scotty. The connection's letting us down tonight, guys. I do apologize, but it's circumstances it, beyond my control. Can you still upload it, still, I? Yes, oh, I'll upload it, Martin. It should be fine. Don't worry about that. Listen, because you take I, care I, of you. I am, I am, I want to download it later on when it's uploaded so I can put it on my laptop and I can watch it all back again. Fabulous. Well, that's what we'll do, Martin. Take care of now. Love, you. Love you lots. Love you. Hey, and dinky do. Dinky do. What a top man. Sorry if we've got a bit of jumping around tonight. Uh, lagging on YouTube slightly, says D, but all good now, though. Maybe it's the weather. D, what are the subscribers looking like on YouTube? We need to get that up. Uh, who's ringing? Who's calling the golden shot? <laughs> You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, oh, oh. oh Misty boy. Oh. Just, just a, a quick one here tonight, buddy. Yes. I've uh, not got a lot of time tonight. Right, well, uh, we'll not take up your time. Uh, well, I was, uh, I, I phoned up a... Uh, Are you practising the organ? And uh, just turn back your lungs. Have you ever played a 16-foot pipe? Open diapers in 16-foot, yes. Is there a 32? There is a 32 contra burden. 
and there's also a 32, um, you would probably call it a, a resultant 32. Now, what that means is that if you played um, an A on the bottom pedal, it would result on an E at the top, which is a fifth. And if you played an A coupled with the E, it actually results in a 32 foot. It's just a very, very, um, you have to listen to it carefully to feel the vibration. Yeah. That's when organs are not equipped with the proper um, height to actually create a full stair. So, so would you be talking, is there a 64? There is a 64, which is probably only one of 34. Now, would that be something like Westminster Abbey, St. Paul's Cathedral, Liverpool Cathedral? Would they have a 64? Yeah, they would have. They were, the Westminster Abbey would have, I think, not the cathedral. I don't think St. Paul's does. But you would the have, Westminster um, Cathedral doesn't have, no? No, you would find, you would need to go to Carnegie Hall. You would need right. to go to Melbourne House. In Australia, you would have to go to all these famous uh, town halls to be able to um, see you know, and, and all of that. Um, you know, St. Paul's had a fabulous organist called John Scott. And John was, I think, a, a few weeks younger than me. And, and John passed away a few years ago. I knew John Scott. Yes. I knew John Scott. Yeah, John Scott was fabulous. He was there for many, many years. Many years, outstanding man. Now, I just have to compliment you on something tonight. Um, you probably do have one of those time delays, um, which I've noticed, and I commend that to you because I was um, on a national phone-in tonight um, telling a funny story uh -huh. of um, talking to um, the late um, Rangers um Captain Walter uh, Smith. Wal Walter Smith. Yes. And what happened was um, in in my young um, heydays, just after graduating, I used to play in the Mariner restaurant at the Moat House in oh, Glasgow. Yes. And every Saturday night, um, Walter came in um, with usually David Dodds and half of the team. And um, they used to have their dinner, and regardless of what the score was, um, they always came in and, and, and had a, 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 a meal. This the investigators from the Australian oh. weekend. Yes. And um, one, one, one weekend, I was getting my, my white uh, dinner jacket uh, dry cleaned. So I, I chose another jacket that I had in the closet, and it was a, it was a royal blue jacket. And I wore this on, on one night and Walter came over to me and he said to me, son, if you wear that every Saturday, I'll tip you a tenner every weekend. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> and I thought that was fantastic. And, and I, I told this story tonight um, on, on um, one of the, 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 the stations that you'll know about. And um, they, they, they asked me, did I know anything about football? And I said, no. I said, I, I couldn't tell you anything about football. I couldn't tell you anything about um, the, 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 the Parkhead team or the Ibrox team. Um, but I said, I, I can tell you that um, the, the, the guy was absolutely fantastic. Um, and that, that, that was the story that I told on on one of the foot, football phone-ins tonight. So I just thought I, I wanted to share that with you. That's a beautiful, beautiful story, matey. Um, so, yeah, so it, it's funny that, you know, not not being anything to do with football, but um, it brings back some memories of, of um, your work. You know, uh, 25 years ago when I was playing um, in, in the Moat House um, for, uh, they call it then, for beer money, because that's yes. about all you got, actually, you know. So, I just, I just thought I'd throw that in there. I think, think that is been. absolutely lovely because uh, I'll tell you this, uh, matey boy. Um, I used to uh, get my equity card and stuff singing in the miners' clubs, and they used oh. to say, uh, "No, we don't have a lot of money." All the minor clubs spoke like that. We don't have a lot of money, son, but you can drink as much as you like. And I thought, well. 
you're not going to end up with any money, but you could end up quite a young alcoholic, you know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, what this brings me back to. Um, when I was just checking the radio tonight, they didn't have a, 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 a delay machine. Now, you, you have a delay machine, which means obviously if MD says anything inappropriate, that you can quickly edit that out. And yes. I was surprised to find that um, this certain radio station didn't have that, and um, the, the the guy said to me, "Well, watch your P's and Q's, and don't say anything inappropriate." Um, and I, I was quite surprised. You thought we wouldn't get away with that on Scotty McClure? It's no, actually called. That. It's actually called a profanity delay device. Right, and it's about ten seconds, isn't it? Uh, well, okay, you can set it. I used to work on seven seconds. Uh, and it's also yeah. quite good in case anything was libelous. And I think I've told you the story of a very, very big uh, solicitor's firm uh, in, in, I think it was Manchester, very senior. It may have been London. And the I wasn't there, but the big wigs from radio were attending. And the senior partner was in because of the importance of all the radio people being there. And he didn't really say much. He was sitting with his beautiful grey silk suit and his pink silk tie and his white shirt and his hair all quaffed up. And at the end of it, they'd said, so Scotty deals with, with, with libel and things, yes. And he said, um, so they said, does anybody have any questions? And he spoke for the first time. He said, could I ask, um, how long does um, Scotty have to decide if something's libelous or not? And the programmer said, seven seconds. And he went, oh, my goodness. It can sometimes take us months. <laughs> Is that beautiful? That's very true. That, that's very true. Yeah, you know, so, so that was the stuff. So it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was wonderful stuff. So it shows you. So you had to be on your toes because some people just maybe didn't have the knowledge and they might say something they shouldn't have said but they didn't do it uh, you know with with any malice well it puts the, it puts the company in in very much kind of um on kind of problems with it's, it's not off camera but ever society regulated by radio transmission yes and obviously if somebody comes along um and says something inappropriate that it can't be edited out um, which is dangerous to that radio station. Uh, so I, I, I would be questioning the fact that... I mean, a sweary word, a sweary word isn't the end of the world, but I prefer not to have it because we're guests in people's houses. Well, exactly, yes. Uh -huh. And it's under the 9pm threshold as yes. well. Uh, so, yeah. So and I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm no saint, as you know, but I have said to people at work, I don't come to my work to hear bad language. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and, yeah, and, well, and people understand that. Well, this certain radio station, I would think that it needs to grow. Um, and I don't want to float your boat, but it does need somebody, um, probably not, that's probably a true example, probably does need actually you feel stopped. Um, and, I, you know, that's um, something that I have to say that, um, would grow this radio station because it's in Glasgow, it's born for Glasgow, um, you know, the studios are in Glasgow and um, uh, it has to be probably um, a, a station that I think would thrive um, if you were, um, you know, in it on a daily basis or just Monday to Friday. Uh, so I think that people really need to understand that um, they're missing um, something on that station uh, because quite frankly the only time I tune into it was on a Sunday morning um, when they have the business programme and the occasional um, night just before I venture off to my choir practice on a Wednesday. Uh, and without mentioning choir. without mentioning any names of this radio station, do you think it would benefit from a nighttime phone-in show? Absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. Um, I don't understand why um, DJs get paid the money um, to sit and just program 
um, CDs upon CDs upon song lists and take the odd call. Um, there is no talent um, in that, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding quite outrageous when I say that, um, but the fact that you have um, the history of what you have done um, with national radio um, in, in the UK um, is testament to the, the success, and I really hope that people should be thinking um, about how to um, grow a radio station by having um, a live talk show, and I don't see anybody in Scotland currently doing that. So um, I have suggested it to the radio station, um, whether it's fallen on deaf ears or not. You're very kind, or, but you and I live by the parable of the sower and the seed. Well, this, this is it. Um, and the, the thing that, that you're capable of doing um, is diversifying into the, 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 the current generation. You're able um, to um, bring subjects um, of current and history and that people like that are scarce. Um, in the the media, and I think that they are not um, they're not listening basically, um, and whether or not it's it's something that maybe they can't afford, um, which I always think is maybe the case, um, because at the end of the day, let's be honest, um, you're not going to come. The, 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 uh, McClure doesn't come salary. cheap. People used to say Scotty McClure might not be cheap, but he is the best. <laughs> Well, if you want, if you want, at the end of the day, is, is, is my motto in life is if you want a monkey, you pay peanuts. Well, yes. I mean, I don't know if you remember the Trouble at the Top program when we launched Century Radio in Manchester. And um, the documentary said, and now it comes to the biggest investment, his biggest investment, you know, Scotty McClure. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it, 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 you come as a brand. Um, we do come as a brand, and I mean, I think that people always know this, and I think that we can get down to some discussion because the phone in the Scotty McClue phone in, as you well know, operates on so many different levels. So there's something there for everyone. If somebody wants to phone up and stick their tongue out, they can do that. If somebody wants to talk about who should be the next prime minister, they can do that. If somebody wants to talk about the household of Mary Queen of Scots or James the First, they can do that. I've said it before, Scotty. I think the, the, the whole society of phone ins has been destroyed by keyboard warriors. I've, I've, I've said that a million times to you. I can't stop. But is that intentional that. because of the power of it? I mean, let's be honest. Um, we don't know why. We still, to this day, don't know why something as successful as Scotty McClure disappeared from Scott FM, right? So we haven't quite got to the bottom of that, and it's, you know, 25 years ago or whatever. But having said that, it was the most successful radio program in Scotland ever. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know? let's um, take, take an example of... of just, just something like that. In in those days before the internet, you know, we, we had things like, um, you know, the ZX Spectrum or the Commodore Amiga, and I actually believe it or not, in in some countries now we're having these retro comebacks of of games, Atari, SP, um, Amstrad. These guys are, are realizing that um, people of my generation are wanting to recreate their childhood. Yes. Uh, not childhood, even just, you know. It's just well, it's like vinyl, vinyl records coming back, isn't it? Exactly. And, and you know, and what should be included in that is, is the, 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 I mean, there is, only, there is no one else to compare to the what they called the, the shock jock in those days with you it's going and i was never really actually a shock jock anyway that was just because they have to label you with something d Gurley says scotty could never be replaced scotty is radio and he belongs there and two beautiful kisses 
Yeah, well, I'll 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 tell you, buddy, uh, and, and this is my, my my final word on it. If I had a radio station, I'll tell you what you'd be back on Radio Gold because I think that honestly there are people out there missing um, the golden goose, as they would say. Um, because at the end of the day, you know that's always going to be something that um, will be remembered. And hats off to you. Um, you're still a household name. We're still a household name, my dear man, and it's thanks to good people like yourself. And just before you go, you know, do you know that Westminster Abbey, of course, was a Catholic church because it was built around, what, 1100 or 900 or whatever it was, and it was the great church of St. Peter? I'll tell you better than that. Um, a good friend of mine um, who was the assistant organist at Westminster Cathedral, a guy called James O'Donnell. Wonderful, um, yes. Later became the director of music at Westminster Cathedral yes. and then resigned yes. and then applied for the job at Westminster Abbey. And he is now today still the director of music at Westminster Abbey. So from somebody... Um, who was a, a Catholic Christian who then wanted to better his career and decided that he had done the best that he can for the cathedral, who then went to apply to a promotion, was granted that, and he, he went from the cathedral to the Abbey. So we have well, bless him. More, more power to his elbow because, as you well know, you could hardly get a cigarette paper between High Anglican and the Catholic Mass. That's correct. That's correct. You know. Yeah, so we have, so so we we have a director of music, cathedral organist, um, Catholic cathedral organist playing in the Abbey, which I think is absolutely fantastic. My first post was in the Church of Scotland, and it was one of the best um, musical experiences in Edinburgh um, that I could ever remember. Wonderful. Um, so it, it really was. Fantastic. And did you did you give it loudly with some of the old Scottish psalms? I did. I did. So, I was fortunate enough to play at the Even Song um, at St Mary's Episcopal Cathedral. Oh, I know it well. Wow, what a history of music St Mary's has! It was absolutely fantastic, and I was delighted to meet the, the doctor. Dennis Townhill. Yes, um, Dr. Townhill. And do you remember, do you know that when you were playing that organ, yes, with, with all stops out, nobody would be able to hear a song at the back of the kirk? Yes. They wouldn't be able yes. to hear a thing. I can remember singing, singing in St. Mary's, Palmerston Place. The organ was giving it full laldi. I don't think that's a stop, by the way, the laldi stop. And um, you couldn't hear a word that he was singing. Yeah, it's very, very. It's a, it's a, it was a four manual Henry Willis. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing, a Father Willis. It was a Father Willis, yes. Gorgeous um, thing. It's been, re it's been restored, um, but it is still there today, and it's absolutely fantastic. It is the only church in Scotland that has daily choral even song. Love it. So, nice to have spoken to you again. Always lovely speaking to you. We're just about out of time, Numpteed, but thank you. And Mummy Paws has joined us and said, I'm late tonight because I was at church. So, there you are. Okay, buddy boy, all the best. Love you lots. Thanks again. Dinky Dusa. What a fine fellow. There we are. Numpteed in full form tonight. And he's suggesting McClue gets back on the radio. Be back on the radio before you know it. Mark my words, says Christopher. I thank you, Christopher, we do. What a great man, says Keith. You are very kind, Keith. Absolutely, lol, Professor Numpty Heat. So there we have it. When caravans rock, it means it's either windy or someone's having a good time. Right, Numpty Heat, hold on to your wellies, son, says Jerry. My caravan is rocking like a plane with turbulence. There was a lovely story I heard recently about a transatlantic airliner out in the middle of the Atlantic the turbulence got really quite bad, and it was boom, dropping. And this traveler got so anxious, he said to the air stewardess, he said, um, Miss, Miss, could you tell me where the life jackets are? And she said, oh, now you're interested. <laughs> I love it, dinky-doo. So there we go. 
I love it. Now, uh, we're going to have to dash, guys. We're right out of time. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Love to our beautiful TikTokers and uh, to all our lovely callers from tonight. For me, Scotty McClure, our next phone in tomorrow night. That's Thursday night, 9 o'clock sharp. Be there or be square. Until then, dinky-doo.